passwords are a thing of the past. So today, I'll take you back in time. Imagine it's 1999, or whatever your school years were. You came back from school, nobody's home, you rush to the family computer to try and build your, your pinball records. And as you casually look at the desktop, you see this file that your parents created. But you don't think much of it. No, you go back to playing solitaire and watch the cards bounce around with pure joy. Isn't it beautiful? Right, now fast forward to today. It's 2024. The world is complex. You're a professional web developer. You're learning Rust because everybody does. No time for pinball, you have to do taxes. The planet is dying. But hey, some things got so much better. You're a grown-up, so you can eat cake whenever you like. Native CSS nesting is now a thing. Yes. <laughs> and, and we're working on saving the planet, OK? We have this backstage, too. But after all these years, one thing, one thing hasn't changed. This. This is bad, and people still do this because passwords are just not great by design. Passwords cause headaches and security risks for users. And password managers mitigate these issues, but first of all, not everybody uses one. And second of all, they don't really fix design and security problems with passwords. Weak or stolen passwords are behind 81% of hacking-related breaches. That's a lot. So, today I want to tell you about a better way, about the future, passkeys. Passkeys are a simple and secure login method, and here's how they work today, for example, on GitHub. You can try it too today. So, I already have a GitHub account, and I click this button here to create a passkey. I accept, and my credential manager, in my case, Google Password Manager, will create and manage my passkey for me. I confirm with my device's screen lock, which in my case is a fingerprint, so the operating system and its secure hardware can go ahead and handle the cryptographic aspects. Cool, and with this, I give my passkey a name of my choice, and that's it, it's created. On the next day, I want to log into my GitHub account, and I just tap one of the signing fields in my browser, and here I'm shown a prompt to unlock my device. I unlock my device, in my case, with a fingerprint, and that's it, I'm logged in. Cool, so passkeys can synchronize across devices using end-to-end -end encrypted uh, credential managers such as Google Password Manager, Apple, uh, iCloud Keychain, Dashlane, and a few more that are on here. And passkeys are accessible to all devices, operating systems, and browsers that have access to these credential managers. And for lost or new devices, you can recover your passkeys by signing into your credential manager. Under the hood, a passkey really is just a cryptographic key pair, which is tied to a user account and a website or an application. So my private key stays with me, with my credential manager, and my public key is on GitHub servers, or whatever is the website you're trying to log into. So what's cool about passkeys? First of all, the UX, you've seen it. It's seamless, fast login. There's no typing, no remembering. Second of all, costs. The thing is, passkeys can be used as a second factor, which can save you some uh, SMS second factor costs. And third, security. First of all, no secret is stored on the server. No biometric data, no password at all. The only thing stored on the server is the public key and some metadata about the passkey. And my favorite security feature, a passkey can only be used for the service it's created on. So if a hacker sends me a link to you know, a fake GitHub login page, I can't use my passkey there, so there's no um, phishing possible, jokes on him. I think this one is also. Awesome. Many websites like Amazon and PayPal are already implementing or have implemented passkeys, and it just keeps growing. Oh, and passkeys, I said it, work on both websites and native applications. Now, that's cool, but I know what you're thinking. What about cross-browser support? Well, passkeys work on multiple platforms. You have Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android and also across all of the browsers that are on this slide. There are a few caveats, though. First of all, uh, Linux and Firefox Android support are not here yet. And the second bit is like, as of today, passkeys do not synchronize in all the places they're supposed to, but it's coming. We're on it for Google Password Manager and Chrome users by the end of this year. So this is work in progress. Finally, and maybe you've understood this with the presentation I gave already, 
Passkeys do not travel across ecosystem. For example, they will not travel between an iCloud keychain and a Google Password Manager account. But in this case, you have a fallback, which is a QR code scan, or you can also create a different passkey. Cool, so how do you implement passkeys? You can visit passkeys web for resources. For your server-side implementation, I recommend you use a library. We have a few listed there. And what will be crucial for your implementation will be user experience, because many users are not yet familiar with passkeys. So how to do this best will depend on your existing authentication systems and your user base. Uh, we have listed a few ideas here uh, on this page for you to get inspired from your XYs. Cool, and with this, that's a wrap. Uh, if you didn't listen, wake up now. The one thing I would like to, uh, you to take home today is to implement passkeys on your website, or at least try them out as a users to see how they feel and see how they behave. Um, that's it. Thanks for your time traveling with me. Uh, you can find me at the speaker booth uh, or on Twitter or X. And I'll see you around. Thanks. Bye.